Hey guys, and welcome back to Trek Yards. He is Commander Goggins. He's kind of funny. Yeah, and we look like we should. We're the, the age we are. I mean, you know, no, I, could, no I could play a younger up. me. I, yeah, I could play a younger me. I would just, you know, be more cringy. Um, or maybe less cringy. I don't know, depending on how you think. Anyway, do we need to well, do it ourselves? Well, the irony is true. Next week, I'm actually doing a, an up age for my character in Trek Shorts. So that's actually what I'm doing next week. I'm not going to move very much, so it works better, the effect. But Picard, yes, episode three. Uh, I love de-aging, the concept, and normally the execution. It allows you to take an actor who we all want to see more of because, you know, they don't look like the prime that we know them from and often the legacy movies, say, the 80s and the 90s, etc. De-aging allows you to do flashbacks or entire movies like Samuel L. Jackson in Captain Marvel. Astounding. Or flashbacks like season one of Picard where we saw Patrick look phenomenal and then Brent look not as phenomenal. But, you know... It can either go right, go wrong, or just look weird. Uh, DAG is not new by any means, and this episode has an entire scene of DAG, not overly short, a good length, with both Riker and Picard, so we're going to look at them today. But let's set a baseline, Stuart. This is Jonathan Frakes 2401. Right? It doesn't make any sense. Well, Jonathan Frakes 2022, because when it's filmed, Captain Riker 2401. Um, he lost a bit of weight for the role, clearly. He looks very good, I think, it's fair to say. Uh, I'm assuming he dyed his hair a bit, but I like the the, the variant look. Here is um, de-age computer. I hated this scene. I hated this scene for more than just the de-aging reasons. But honestly, the de-aging was gross. Uh, Patrick Stewart looked smooth and disgusting, like he did in Anonto when they de-aged him for the X-Men movie. Unrealistically so. Riker was the exact same. And one thing I absolutely despised, he de-aged the face, but not his hand. When his hand came up with the glass, it was an old liver-spotted hand. De-aged the hand as well. If you're going to take harder, out the, actually. If you're going to take out the blemishes of the, the... It's called makeup. It's called makeup, and it's possible. They didn't even consider it, because the hand coming in the shot is like, it's the old man's hand with a... No blemishes on your face. Sorry, that just bugged the crap out of me from the get-go. Um, and Patrick Stewart looked unnatural and weird. I, I, I was sure we were going to talk about this because I know you do aging and de-aging for your films. And I don't know why they can't de-age Patrick Stewart and have it look good. Because, I mean, it looked better than X, X-Men did. That was atrocious. That was like, like early... 2007. That was early de-aging... On the this, this is better, but barely. And I love that the bar is dark. Uh, that helps, but it's like just don't just use makeup. You can you can make somebody look a lot younger with makeup, and it looks way more natural. And this is a mix of both. And plus, Riker's hair didn't even match. He had it cut different back in the day, and his beard also was not the right color. These are things that you just notice. Maybe you don't. I don't know. I did. What did you think of this scene? I know that you would be interested in this yes. scene. So. I thought it was great. I was really pleased, actually. Yeah, I, it's the exact opposite. I thought it was really good. Um, because it's quite an ambitious thing to do, have both your leads be 20 years younger, before any, you know, literally just after Nemesis. Now, while it's without doing a giant CG face, uh, it's it's very difficult to get the width of someone's face. So the, the weight-wise, they're not going to match. But I thought, you know, obviously Frakes, here's a good comparison with, with Nemesis. And I, I mean, considering how much older he looks in the new one, I thought, relatively speaking, it was a very clean look. Obviously the beard kind of helps, but clearly he's going all the, the edges of going grey in Nemesis. The use of dramatic lighting is good and bad. Flat lighting lets you really get a clean version, like Luke and the Mandalorian. But by having dramatic lighting, it kind of pulls him into the scene more. But because I could kind of see his face was being relit slightly by the software, so his face, like this bit of his face was slightly different to the rest of his face. No, no wonder why. It's a digital face. But for what they were trying to do, I got the solid of the acting. He looks significantly younger um, in the uniform. I thought for what they were trying to do, I mean, hey, 20 years younger, I was relatively sold. Um, yes, of course, there's they lost a bit too much skin detail. But I mean, compare the three, he's pretty damn close to how he looks Nemesis. Yeah, it is a few years after Nemesis, so I'll, I'll forgive the color of the beard which wasn't quite as, you know, ungray as it was. And I mean, even the hair, even the hair, because it's two years. So yeah, you can get a different hair. Yeah, he just also became captain. New stresses, his hairline went back a bit. 
Um, no, I think I think Frakes was far superior to, uh, to 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 Stewart. I thought on a scale this is very very passable and opens that door because they've do it for this scene. The process has been set up. We might have a scene with other actors um, because you know like Geordie, white hair. Well, obviously wasn't a problem, was it? If this is a good precedent setting in three. And it's not even played as if it's like a miracle scene. It's just a nice gentle flashback that of course you'd have. That's why I love these sorts of things, because you can structurally have a scene that's very important and not even play it as anything huge, right? It's just a, a nice thing with friends, which does kind of retcon a bit Picard season one. Um, you know, they hung out and they were still fully like best friends straight after, which I thought was lovely. And it's the first time I've seen Picard as Admiral in Lower Decks, because he was said to be Admiral now in season three of Lower Decks. First time she saw him as an Admiral. Um, Picard was still gross. Well, let's they, they went the three Picards. Yeah, yeah, they went too smooth with this one. There's a sense of fall off that on the CG Patrick. There's almost a hard line of light that just feels unnatural. Like it's, it's not it's not a CG face in terms of it's not a CG model. It's a it's a it's a deep fake esque thing. But they were definitely more nervous about him to really hide. But I mean, he looks significantly younger. Oddly, he almost looks younger than Nemesis with how smooth his skin is. He hasn't got these eye wrinkles. Yeah. He's lost that characterful detail. Although his performance was pretty good, although his raspy voice definitely feels out of character for he's now 20 years younger. But yeah, David Patrick worse. But I could say, I can also imagine that if they did light the scene dark, you know, you'd have to. So when you de age, the, the softwares need information to read, obviously. But if this half your face is in shadow, you, you can't see the little creases to remove them. So if I digitally lighten this side of his face, to de-age it, to then re-darken it again, hence the weird contrast factor. If it was bright, they'd have had full access to his face. Now, if you compare now to the season one de-aging, which I think was effing phenomenal. I mean, that looks spectacular and much better for only four years. Much, much better than this one. Um, at least for, I mean, he, you know, supernatural. That's beautifully lit, super lit on purpose, right? To have the most, most, much possibility. But what do you think now compared to that then? Head and shoulders better with the older one, which I we talked about at the time, and I thought it was pretty good. But I just get X Men flashbacks to this other one, this one from this episode. Yeah, yeah. When you compare them, it definitely has more of the vibe, which is odd. Uh, so if you cut then to the last picture, I mean, you can you can see the stark quality difference. Definitely Riker with a bit of CG wash over him. Patrick's face weird, and, and again, you can even see like there's, there's more light on. The fall off of light feels more natural on Riker. Something's weird has happened. Ah, it was, it was a risky move. A bar hides imperfections, but also makes it harder to do. They could not best of both worlds it. But I thought Riker was great. I think that's very well done, personally. Uh, what are your thoughts on this, guys? We want to hear your thoughts always. So comment down below. Join the channel. Subscribe to the channel. Hit the notification bell icon and join us for the lives and conversations that we have all the time here because we love hanging out with you guys and talking Star Trek. All the time. Pretty much every day. Yep, but support if you can via Patreon monthly. Join the channel, also monthly, as in the YouTube channel. Here, the join button. You can find it right now. Good job you found it. Or pay support donations via PayPal, trackyards at hotmail.com, or uh, super chatting and super thanks things. The difference being super chatting is on a live, a live. So even if you're not into Picard, jump in, say hi, say hey, we love this. Here's a five, or super thanks on any video like this one right now. You could also press that. I mean, the, the buttons are right there. Thanks in advance and uh, means a lot to us. That's right. So until next time, here's Commander Cockings. Stay oh, yes. younger. Stay young guys. Mm. Bye guys. <laughs>